Three-month-old Tiago Calderon is meeting all of his milestones, and that makes his mom, Cecilia, very happy. You see, months before he was born, Cecilia was tested for and diagnosed with cytomegalovirus, or CMV, generally harmless to mom, potentially deadly to baby. I never heard of CMV. I had asked people after they told me that they had it. Nobody had heard of it either. And Cecilia is not alone. It actually affects more babies than Down syndrome and spina bifida combined. It's just not that well known um, because most of the babies don't have symptoms at birth. So how is it spread? It's just like a cold virus. They can catch it. Most of the time they catch it from children. It's very commonly passed in daycares or even in hospitals. So if a pregnant woman is around a young child, she acquires the infection if she acquires it for the first time during her pregnancy, she has a 40% chance of passing it on to her fetus. Um, I do social work with children from the ages from 3 to 18, 19. So it's possible you got it from one of them? Yes. It is because the virus is so common and easily spread that Women and in Infants Hospital and 13 other sites are enrolling folks like Cecilia during pregnancy. The way that we are testing to find out whether or not they have it is by a blood test. This national study is being led by Dr. Brenna Anderson out of Women and Infants now because there's an efficient and reliable screening test for CMV, and now there are promising treatments should the baby become infected. It can lead anywhere from a mild asymptomatic infection all the way to a very severe infection, developmental disabilities, even stillbirth and death. Tiago tested positive, but he's asymptomatic. Still, he'll be watched closely until he's two. I'm just passing the word around for a lot of women to get tested. The goal is to screen 150,000 pregnant women nationwide and enroll those who test positive for first-time exposure to CMB. Now, those women would then be randomized into a treatment trial, and all babies, whether they test positive or not, will be followed for two years, which is when any hearing or developmental delays would likely develop. For more information, you can log on to turnattend.com and click on health. And that's Health Check. Barbara Moore Silva, NBC10 News.